Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've made for you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, before we get to today's video, I would like to ask you to please thumbs up this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell button. It helps you get notified of every new video that I post. Also, if you've already subscribed to the channel, could you please go ahead and hit the join button or maybe the super thanks button? Either way, I greatly appreciate it if you gave anything. It only helps build this channel and make it better for you and everybody else. Today's video, we're going to be doing part three of our installing i3 window manager and theming it. Uh, now, I know it's been a minute before since I released the video. I just did the Lyle Linux review and that's it. And I haven't been dropping out. You've been seeing a lot of shorts and stuff. It's because I'm having a difficult time with my work-life balance. Work has taken off. I have tons of overtime going on. In today's video, uh, we're going to draw our wallpaper because our last two videos, we installed Arch Linux and then we turn around and we uh, set the configuration files at the modifier keys and everything else. And then also uh, adjusted our resolution with XRender, well in XRender using ARender, a tool that helps write a script. And we actually set that script to be run whenever you log into i3 and it automatically goes to your nice high, you know, resolution of 1080p or I mean yeah uh, 1920 by 1080 we're gonna draw our wallpaper today that's the next thing that you want to do because nobody wants to look at a black boring background there are two tools that you can use to do that one is fe and the other one is nitrogen now fe is a little bit more command line driven whereas nitrogen is an actual gooey face one so you can pick which one it is that you would like to do but both function quite well uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that we're going to start off by looking at the Fe Arch Wiki page because that's where you're going to want to go. And I'll put a link of that in the description in order to follow steps to set this up as well as being able to randomize it. So here you go. Here we are at the Fe Arch Wiki page. Once again, like I said, I will put it in the description. It gives you a step by step from installation to usage, browsing images, and using it as a wallpaper. That's what we're going to concentrate on. But you can also randomize the background image. Uh, so that is something to look at. So to install it, uh, I mean, to um, actually use it for setting your wallpaper, you want to use this command. But it will create this directory right here in your home directory. Now, uh, if you want to give it a flag of, you know, tiling, centering, or maximum, or fill, you could do this, depending on what you need based on your resolution for your monitor versus the picture resolution as well. It will open up SVG images, uh, which you can use this right here. And then this is the section for randomizing it. So here you can go to to make it randomize in different ways and do different things with the randomization. Uh, so uh, just pay attention to that if you want to make it be like kind of variety wallpaper where it changes, you know, the wallpaper of the day or whatever. You can set it to do that. And then also you can use it in a cron job as well. So that being said, we're going to focus on this. But first we actually have to install. Now to install it, you want to open up a terminal. You want to type in sudo pacman. Ah, I misspelled sudo. I got too excited and too happy. And that's going to be dash capital S Y and then F E H. It should be in the repo that we're going to put in our your root password. And you're going to hit yes. And there you go. It's completely installed. So now we're going to clear that terminal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up, uh, since we're in a tile, I'm going to manage, we're going to do this. We're going to hit mo the modifier key D, and then we're going to type in Thunar, which is our file manager. Now, understand that I have actually already downloaded um, some pictures, uh, and so they're here in my pictures folder, my pictures directory. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to create this wallpaper by doing this right here. We're going to copy this, but we're going to paste it into our terminal. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it the actual path. And so once again, we're going to copy up here. This is the fast way for those people that don't like to do a lot of type. Andy astronaut. Dot JPG. I hit enter. Did I misspell? Oh, did I misspell it? There we go. I was putting JPEG instead of JPEG. So there you go. Now it did that. So now I believe if we close our windows, I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this. Now we have our background drawn. See that? That is beautiful. Remember in the Arch Wiki, hang on one second. Uh, the actual background image, you don't have to type in that scale command in terminal anymore. You just simply go here and you edit this file that this script that it created um, in your home directory. So that's what we're going to take a look at next on how to on, on how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out this the Firefox here. We're going to close that out. And then right here is where it's at. So we're going to you know open it up with Vim and take a look at it. And here is that same line that we typed in into command. And then this is what you're going to change this aspect of the candy astronaut. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, another uh, actually before we do that let's go ahead and close this out so you can see the wind see the see the actual background see that background there it is very nice very cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to launch uh thunar again so we can see one uh in pictures right these are all the different ones that we're going to do and then we're going to go back here we're going to open this with, with vim and then we're going to go back here to pictures. And we're going to find another one that we're going to change to. And let's take a look at 4K mushrooms.jpg. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply hit I for insert for Vim. And then we're going to go here. We're going to go back here and we're going to type in the 4K, 4K, and then mushrooms. Dot jpg. Now, make sure I type this right. Oh, I don't need to put that in because it's already there. Silly me. So now I hit uh, escape to quit the insert mode. Then I'm going to hit shift colon W, Q, lowercase with exclamation mark to write and quit and save it. Now, we'll go ahead and close that. And now what I'll do is to log out. So to do that, you hit the shift window and E. Hit exit. And then we log back in. We forgot to do something. What we forgot to do is to write our command in our i3 config file to load that script. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so to do that, we are going to open up Thunar once again. Window D. Thunar. Okay, and then we're going to go to our .config file. We're going to go to i3. We're going to open this up with Vim. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to where we put auto start program, as you can see. Now we're going to hit our insert mode. Now you could use nano for this. You could use whatever text editor you want. Let's go ahead and make this bigger so you guys can see. Let's do that. You'll want to type in exec space dash dash no dash startup dash id forward slash home forward slash alex forward slash dot f e h b g now of course the alex directory would be changed to whatever your username directory is the colon right quit exclamation mark hit enter and then you're done so now Go ahead and do the logout in order for it to uh, window shift key uh, to E to log out. And there you go. Now it's done. Now it loads that wallpaper up 
to what it is, which is those mushrooms, which is kind of distorted. I don't like it. Um, it's a 4K resolution, which my monitor is not 4K. So let's find something else. I don't know why I did that. So let's go ahead and take a look at something else. We'll change that again to make it something better. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter. Or we're going to hit uh, mod key D and then we're going to type in Thunar. And there it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up with Vim. Okay, then we're going to go to our pictures folder, candy sign. Hit escape, shift colon, lowercase wq, exclamation point to close out. We're going to hit Windows Shift and Q to kill this window. We're going to hit Windows Shift and E to exit. And then we are going to log back in. And now we have, there we go, a good resolution and a good sign. So that is how you use FE to do that. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to install nitrogen. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the terminal. Of course, we're going to hit the up arrow again, right? And then what we're going to do is we are going to install nitrogen. Not nitrogen, nitrogen. We're going to hit enter. We're going to put in our password. We're going to hit Y. And it's installed. So now you could be able to launch it right from your D menu. So let's see here. Let's see if we can change this. So what we'll do is we'll hit um, uh, menu D nitrogen, right? And then you got to what you do is you click here to preferences. And you go here to add, and then you want to add the pictures folder. You're going to hit select, and then you're going to hit OK. And now all the pictures that we have are going to populate. These are the ones that we can use. What's nice about it is it gives you a kind of like a preview here of what they look like. So what we'll do is, is this nature one here. We're going to hit up. We're going to do it to screen one, and we're going to do it scaled. And then we're going to hit apply. Now, hopefully that applied it. Let's take a look and see. Otherwise, we might have to kill fe because it may not be able to override fe. And it did. It applied it quite well. Uh, the resolution's crappy. So what we'll do is we'll do nitrogen again. And then we'll uh, do from scaled, we'll do to... Automatic and we'll hit apply and see what that does That's what it did it made it small. That's the problem the resolution on that picture when I downloaded it was so small So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to something that we know works. So we're going to hit menu D and then nitrogen again And we're going to hit let's try this Sun one And now let's try it. There we go. Now we've got that done. We're looking at the eclipse. So that is how you can do that. Now, to get it to automatically start up when you do, like we did Fe to draw the background uh, wallpaper, what we want to do is this. So to set up nitrogen to do it when we auto start, like we did Fe, what you want to do is you want to hit, of course, go to Thunar. Uh, sorry, so you want to hit. And then type in Thunar. And then you want to go to your i3 config file, which is in your i3 folder. And you want to open it up with Vim. And then what you want to do is, first off, we have to comment out this fe line that we just typed. We're going to do that simply by hitting Shift and then the pound key. Ah. Dog on it. I forgot. I got to hit enter or I to for insert. Now I'm in insert mode, pound key, and it's commented out. Now what we do is we type the exact same thing. Dash ID. 
And then what you want to do is you want to type in nitrogen. Took me a minute to remember. Sorry about that. Space dash dash restore. And that's it. That's all you have to type. So now what you do is you're going to hit shift colon small k lowercase wq. Oh, you got to hit. Uh, sorry. My bad. I forgot to hit escape. Sometimes I forget to do that in, in Vim. If you haven't done that, hey, let me know in the comments because I do it all the time. So I hit shift Q or shift colon, right? Quit. And then exclamation point enter. And that closes out your Vim. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to log out again. And now instead of Fed drawing the wallpaper, we should have nitrogen drawing it. And there we are, because that's what we used last for nitrogen. Now, what we'll do is we're going to go back in and we're going to swap back and forth to show you that they both work equally. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go right here uh, to Thunar. Right. We're going to go into the i3 config file. We're going to open it up with Vim. And I know that you guys are probably tired of seeing this right now. Um, or actually tired of bouncing back and forth between the two. But what we'll do next is we're going to set up a couple, you know, a couple of uh, key bindings to open up um, certain programs like Thunar to open up with a key binding. And then we'll set up some bash aliases really quickly to be able to edit commonly used config files all right so what we're going to do is we're going to shift or i got i'm in insert mode i'm going to shift and then comment that out we're going to uncomment the fe we're going to hit escape and we're going to obviously write and quit this and then we're going to quit this and then we're going to exit it and then we're going to log back in now you see it's pretty fast when i don't have to explain what i'm doing and now that is our fair background so you can switch between those two and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and enable the nitrogen to show that it completely fully works so just bear with me while i type this real quick without explanation as to where i'm going when i get there then we can actually make our changes Oh, shoot. Escape. We're going to write and quit. Quit. Enter. And then. Hit yes to exit. And now we'll log back in. And now we should be back to this eclipsed sun. There we go. That is exactly how easy you could set one of those two tools to draw your wallpaper for you. Now you've actually got a wallpaper. You've got your status bar at the bottom. Uh, we can take a look at editing that status bar and also we're going to look at, you know, maybe installing a Bumblebee status bar or poly bar. Guys, leave a comment down below what you thought about the video. If it helped you out, understanding the two backgrounds, also the fe. Sorry, not vet, but fe. You could use as your actual image viewer as well. You guys leave a comment down below what you thought. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Until then, y'all keep doing what you do. You guys stay blessed and you guys keep on Linuxing. And above all, have a great day.